Hi, I'm Diony. I like to blog about my quilt and sewing adventures at Clever Chameleon. And I also have the privilege of being an Island Boutique Ambassador. I'm the Island Boutique Ambassador for Australia, if you haven't placed the accent. Anyhow, every six months that means I get a big box of beautiful fabrics from Island Boutique and some other amazing products from their industry partners. And today I have my latest box. This box will be the things that I will use to do my quilting challenges for Island Boutique for the rest of 2019. So let's open it and have a look at what we've got. stuck down very well. There we go. I can see some pretties already. Right. Okay. Oh, I see lots of things I like in here. Let's have a look. Uh, Island Petite usually sends some neutral fabric from their permanently available lines and this time I've received four yards of almond dots. They are lovely swirly dotty pattern. I've used a very similar fabric to that before and I love it. It's um, non-directional print and very versatile and of course it's just got that lovely feel because Island Boutiques are substantial but not stiff and they're amazing. What else have we got? Let's see, we've got, oh, this time we've got four yards each of their three solid batik weight cottons. They're currently making black, white and grey. And I love these too. These are fantastic for quilt backgrounds. They feel like a batik and behave like a batik and don't fray like a batik, but of course they're very versatile because they're just solid colour. Then there is some beautiful pre-cuts. This one is two and a half inch strips from the summer 2019 collection. So you can ask your local quilt store to get these fabrics in because they're hot off the press. This one is Sir Little Sir Little Miss Batiques. Aren't they cute? Lovely bright rainbow fabrics. Let's have a look. 40 pieces, 20 designs. And they just look like these. They're going to be really fun. We actually have a challenge in September to make a quilt for young people. And I think these might be a perfect place to start. Look at those. Look at the colours. Amazing. Uh, to go with those, I've got yardage as well. We've got two yards of Humps Grape. Look at that. That's a fun little print. And a stripy batik. Stripy yellow batik. I've never had stripy batik before. Which is it? It's fat skinny stripes. That'll be fun. I'll have to think about how we're going to best use that. Now, there's usually coordinates to go with those things. This would be the set of coordinates to go with those. These are eight half yard cuts from their basic and their blender collection. I know this one on the top because they send me this one every time. I think it's someone in the warehouse having a laugh. This top one's called Chameleon. See, there you go. Chameleon. But it is beautiful, so I'd never complain. My favourite colours, teal and green. What else have we got? We've got Glacier. I haven't seen that one before. That's interesting. Plum, that's beautiful. I haven't had that one before either. Oatmeal. OK, 
carnation bubbles. I've played with that one before. That's a pretty one. Very girly. Ooh, blue wavy dots. I don't know that one either. I like that pattern. Can you see that? Jelly dandelion. That will be from the Blenders collection. And the last one, Bubbles Nutmeg. Hmm. Quite a collection of edibles in my box this time around. That one will be very handy too. So that looks like the summer collection. I've also got a second set of pre-cuts. This one's from the spring collection, also available to be ordered through your local quilt shops now. And let's have a look at what's under there because that looks very pretty. Got 10 inch pre-cuts. I think of the pre-cuts, 10 inches are my favourite. And this one is Graphic Gems Boutiques, 42 pieces, 20 fabric designs. Let's take always like feel. I wish you were here so you could feel too. Look at those. Beautiful. Purple is a favourite of mine. Purple and blue and the blue greens. So I've chosen very well for me. So to go with those, I have two yards of this clamshell design which is Ogie Spikes. I haven't seen that one before. That one I'll have to remember is directional and work out how exactly that I'm going to use that. And to go with all of that there is also two yards of this one. This is beautiful. Dark Lagoon Dots. I do love that colour. I'll quite happily make something in that colour for my own bedroom. And to go with those, I've also got four basics and four blenders. Let's see what they've chosen. Oh, this is exciting. We have got Iceberg. Hmm. Yep, looks like that the green colour that you see in the amazing pristine ice. Mulberry, basic. Marbles, basic. That's an interesting one with all the blue and the goes right through to purple from the green. And ocean, ocean blue. Nice. The blenders. Dandelion Wisteria. I've had that before. I love that one. That is very pretty. Marble Purple. Waterfall. That's the same print as we saw earlier in the purple. And Bubble Hole Tin. I like that one. That's a nice grey. Okay. Oh, and there's still one more lot of fabric. I told you they were generous. We have Blueberry Patch Quarter Yard Cuts. Now, oh look, on the top, it's ladybugs. That's fun. So there's a whole range of blue colours here. Goes from your mid blue with the ladybugs. I've got a darker blue, bubbles, bluebird. They're blueberries apparently, that makes sense. Blueberry patch and a lighter version of that. Uh, navy swells. I like to quilt swells. That's kind of fun. Or ladybugs. Bluebirds, apparently. 
garden. That's nice. Ooh. Honeycomb. And Bubbles Frozen Pond. Don't get frozen ponds here. But we did where we lived in Germany for a bit. Bubbles Sky. Whoops. Storm Blueberry. That's a good dark one. I love how this one goes from the very light to the very dark. I should be able to do something very graphic and fun with these. Pewter Blue. French Blue. Shark. Oh, that's, I like that one. Propeller. Universe. That's sweet. Oh, and mushrooms. <laughs> I think you might be getting the impression I like this collection. Mushrooms and oh, some gardening tools. You see those? Turn up the right way for... There we go. Some more leaves. More bubbles. More dots. And some dark dots. That's very cool. Hmm. August is a star block challenge. I think I might have to see if I can think up something to do with those fabrics to go with the star block challenge. Now, I'll just take that out. What else have we got? Now we're down to Arna Boutique's industry partners, and this one is the one that we start at the beginning of the year with AccuQuilt. AccuQuilt has the die cutters, and at the beginning of the year they sent uh, the cutter and a lovely set of dies, and this time around we have a block on board. And this one is, I don't know if I can't get it far enough away from the camera, you can see one block, is Cleopatra's fan. It's amazing, isn't it? So, there is, I believe, all the pieces you need to make Cleopatra's fan on one die. You see them all listed there. And when you put it through the cutter, you get the entire block in one go. Let's see if I can show you what that looks like. So there it is. That looks easy to use. All lovely and labelled. And they've even got notches in the pieces so you can line them up. Which is a really good thing because me and Curve Piecing aren't really a team. But that's okay. I believe we have to use the AccuQuilt die in our September challenge. So I'll have to think about how I can work Cleopatra's fan into a kids quilt. That'll be fun. We have also continuing support from Orophil, which we're always grateful for. They're, these are two... Thousand meters each of pure cotton thread. The orange one is. Let me make sure I get this right. This is the 50 weight one. So this one is amazing for piecing, especially with batiks, because the fine thread just sits inside the seam without causing any bulk. That's a pretty color too. That is 2835. And you can also, it is actually strong enough to use for quilting too if you really want to, see. And a 40 weight, 2510, it's kind of a, a purpley pink colour, very pretty too. Um, it's perfect for piecing as well, but this is generally the weight I use for most of my quilting. So that's lovely. Thank you, Orophil. And thank you also to AccuQuilt for the die as well, I should say. And last but certainly not least, the other industry partner Island Boutique has is Hobbs Batting, which I have grown to love very much in the last 18 months. And it looks, yes, they've been super generous once again. 
This time we have a throw size 100% wool, which says doesn't hold creases, ideal for show quilts. Anyone, if you've been following my blog, you'll know that I like show quilting, so that will be fun to give a good try. And this one I have used before, cotton wool blend. It drapes nicely and can be quilted up to four inches apart and that's a throw size too if you can see that love wool and wool blend battings and the last thing in my box is one of my go-to's Hobbs heirloom natural cotton batting with a scrim so if you don't know what a scrim is it's the thin layer on the back of the batting that stops the batting going through your backing fabric and beading and uh, it's very easy to quilt on because it doesn't distort so much as well so that's a lovely product and I'm very happy to have what is it another queen size roll of that so that's awesome thank you Hobbs and thank you Arna Batik for amazing generosity and for trusting me with their products and for sending them all the way to Australia and thank you for watching bye